Hey y'all, what's up? It's Alicia, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I installed these Passion Twists. I love them. I love them so much. I've had them installed for about two days now and I love them so much. This is such a lightweight hairstyle. I am obsessed with it. I can get to my scalp. I can like scratch. I can like oil my scalp. I can nourish my scalp. Um, my hair like legit feels so lightweight. Like there's nothing even on them. So I guess I should start off by telling you all what hair I use for these passion twists. Um, I use the Free Tress Bohemian Braid um, hair. So this is how it looks. And this is a piece of the hair to show you guys exactly how the curl pattern is. So it's nice and springy, really cute, really lightweight. Um, and I used a little bit over um, three packs, so I would probably suggest getting four just in case something happens. Each pack was, there's no price on here, but I want to say it was $5.99. So like $6 for three or four packs not bad at all and the time it took me to do this hairstyle was long it was a very long process it took me like eight hours to do um and that's because i installed them a lot smaller this is how many twists i have installed in my hair i have some more over here so yeah i installed a lot of twists y'all <laughs> And the method that I used was the rubber band method, but these are knotless. So I did not apply any knots to keep the hair intact. And y'all will see exactly how I do it whenever I install it, but there are no knots at all. And yeah, this is what we got. Looking good, looking good. So yeah, let's go ahead and just jump straight into the tutorial. And I hope you guys really do enjoy. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have pretty much done majority of my hair, but I did leave three sections of hair and I wanted to show you guys exactly how I installed these passion twists. Um, I will say just from experiencing doing Senegalese twists and then doing these passion twists um, where I already kind of like pre-parted my hair, I will say that pre-parting your hair makes things so much easier because before you even install the hair you get to kind of decide how big you want the boxes to be and just all that good stuff it just makes it so much more efficient and you know exactly how much um hair each twist um will have so i just say from the gate just start off by pre-parting your hair i am doing the rubber band method so that just means that whenever i created um, my like little box i applied a black rubber band that is now holding these sections in place. And you guys will see why in a second I decided to do the rubber band method. Let's just go ahead and get right into it. This is the first section of hair that I'll be working with this little um, box right here. And I will clip the rest of this hair away for the meantime. So here is our box. My natural hair is already stretched. So as far as the actual hair itself goes, I mentioned earlier I'm using the Free Tress um, braid, Bohemian braid hair, and I am using the color too. So if y'all can tell, the way the hair is, is they are pretty much separated by pieces. So it's really easy, so it's really easy to just pull a piece out like so, and that will be um, your twist. Granted, the size of your passion twist is totally dependent on you and just like your overall look and what you wanna achieve. You can go for a much like chunkier um, passion twist. You can go for a more medium sized passion twist. I personally wanted like more of a smaller passion twist because to me, it's just easier to style my hair and different versatile hairstyles whenever I have a lot of twists to work with. And whenever my hair is too chunky or like it, the twists are too big, it just makes it really hard to find hairstyles, for me at least, to like do. And I get bored of just wearing it down majority of the time. So because I decided to go with smaller passion twists, I am just using one piece of hair per twist. 
For some of them, I did go ahead and kind of make two pieces together. But for the most part, I stuck to just doing one piece of hair. So what I do first is I go towards the bottom, y'all can see, and I start to kind of loosen the hair up. So I work my way up, I work my fingers up, and I am just gliding my hands through the hair. And what this does is this kind of opens the, um, the hair up and makes it a little bit fuller. So that way um, they're not super tight. Like you don't want the passion twist to be super tight. You do want for it to be a little bit fluffy. So this does help in doing so. So again, all I'm doing is just running my fingers, literally, if y'all can see, just running my fingers through the hair and kind of separating the pieces just to make it a lot fuller. Just like so. And I do that all throughout. So that's about how full I'm going to get that piece of hair. Y'all can see it's nice and fluffy. Looks good, nice and bouncy. So next I'm going to take my crochet hook and I'm just going to put the crochet hook under the rubber band. So right underneath where that rubber band is sitting. So if y'all can see the crochet hook is right under the rubber band, which is right here. Rubber band right here, crochet hook is underneath it. So then I'm going to take my crochet hair and I'm going to hook the crochet hair onto the crochet needle, okay? So we have our hair, it is hooked onto the crochet needle and the latch is now closed. And then you just pull the crochet hair through, okay? So next we will take the crochet hair off of the crochet hook, okay? We are just going to pull half of this hair through. So if y'all can see there are two, there's like the two halves right here, right? You are just going to be pulling one of these halves. So what I mean is right here where we have this little like hoop that we have going on from the crochet hook, just pull one side. So I'm holding this side right here and I am just pulling the other side through. all I'm doing. I'm just pulling one half of the hair through. So now you are going to take your natural hair, which is just hanging out over here. I'm going to take um, the African Pride Black Caster Miracle Braid Lock and Twist Gel. I'm going to apply some of this to my natural hair. And the reason being is because this will help my natural hair blend in a lot better with the crochet hair itself. So I'm just taking that and just applying it all over my natural hair. And this just helps to weigh the hair down, like I said, so it helps to really blend in with the crochet hair. And I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and kind of just smooth that hair out. So I'm taking the two sections of my natural hair. I have one section over here, one section over here. And then of course this piece of my natural hair will go with this crochet. And this piece of my natural hair will go with this crochet. So after that, it gets really simple. So first I'll take this piece, which is a combination of my natural hair and one half of the crochet hair. And I rotate it a couple of times going counterclockwise. And then I will do the exact same for this side of my hair. And the reason why I do it is just because it helps um, for my natural hair to start blending in with the crochet hair. So now we have both pieces that have both been kind of twisted a couple of times. And now we just begin to two strand twist. That's all we're doing. And as I'm going, I will apply some more of that lock and twist gel, at least until where my natural hair stops, just so I know my natural hair is um, really blending in with that crochet hair. 
Also, the key here is that like every five to seven twists that you do, you want to kind of pull upwards. So after twisting a few times, I will kind of pull a little bit upwards. And you guys will see why that makes the difference at the very end. But it's a key here to get kind of that boho effect. So I keep twisting, twisting, twisting. Then I pull a little bit upwards. Twist, 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 twist. Pull upwards a little bit. Twist, twist, twist. Pull upwards. And you keep doing that all the way down. I like this hairstyle was so easy to do, but it was very time consuming. It took me probably like eight hours total. And that's because I installed kind of like the smaller version of Passion Twist. I'm sure if you did like much bigger ones, it would probably take like half that time. But because I wanted to be extra, <laughs> it took me like eight hours, which seems like a lot of time. But I promise you the time goes by so fast. So never let like the time it takes to do a style like this kind of like turn you away because I promise if you have a good Netflix show or a good Hulu show to watch, to binge watch, I promise you the time goes by so, so, so fast. Yeah, it was eight hours and I just took a day where I wasn't really doing much and knocked it out and it goes by crazy fast. So I'm still twisting all the way to the bottom. I'm almost there. <laughs> almost there to the very end. All right. So whenever I get to the very bottom, I kind of twirl the ends with my finger. Okay. And then I look to see if there are any scraggly pieces at the very end. And if there are, I will take my handy dandy scissors and just cut the very ends off just to keep this hairstyle looking nice and neat and clean. And then once I cut those little scragglies off and we have our little curl going on towards the bottom, I will just take the twist and let it go. That's it. And we have that kind of like boho vibe going on. The bounce back is real. <laughs> this is how long it is. It's pretty much waist length. <laughs> so yeah, that is our first passion twist. It looks good. Looks good. Looks nice and neat. And there you go. So again, I am just taking this section of hair here. So what I'll do this go around is just to apply the um, braid twist and lock gel first. Our natural hair is nice and smooth, <laughs> nice and smooth. So again, I'm gonna take um, a piece of the crochet hair, same routine as I did before. And I'm gonna take my fingers and start working my fingers through to loosen up the crochet hair and make it nice and full. So if you guys can't tell, I'm just using my thumb or my index finger and I'm just running it through the hair. So I've separated the crochet hair. As you guys can see, it's a lot fuller. So I'm gonna take my crochet hook again and just insert it underneath the rubber band. Then I will take my crochet hair, hook it on to the crochet hook, close the latch, so as y'all can see, the latch is right here and that is closed. Next, I'm going to pull the crochet hook through and I'm gonna pull one half of the crochet hair through. So I'm holding this half of the crochet hair 
and pulling that other half of the crochet hair through. I just start rotating each of these halves counterclockwise first. And next I'm going to just start two strand twisting my hair. And as I'm twisting, I will add more of the twist braid lock gel. All right, so we got to the very end. I can already see my hair starting to want to do its bounce back thing. But I wanted to check to see if um, I have any scragglies at the end of my hair, which I do. I see a couple of pieces Put at the very end to keep everything nice and neat. And this is how the ends look now. So now I just let it go and it bounces back. <laughs> And it looks good. And this is a close up of how um, the roots of each passion twist look. All right, y'all. So that is how I installed my passion twist. I really hope you guys love them just as much as I do. And I will stand up to show you guys exactly how um, long these are. So these are about boob length. So a pretty good length and I just love it. Like my hair is so full, like from the front all the way to the back. Um, I think it just turned out so good. And let me show y'all a back view of my hair. So this is the back of my hair. That's how long they are hitting me in the back. Here's how it looks back here. So as y'all can see, my hair is full all the way around. It's totally worth spending eight hours on this hairstyle. I would highly recommend it. And I promise if it seems hard, it's not. Like it's not hard at all. Once you get down the first couple of passion twists, you start speeding by it because it is such a easy process and you do get the hang of it as you are going along. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And as always, I love y'all. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye guys. Mm.